All right, this case said D542219. No, it's not. Case D533455. Uh, the Zamora case. Miss Roberts is uh, present. Mr. Frizzell, can you hear me? I can hear you awesome. All right. Uh, my understanding is Miss Roberts has kind of reached out to you. I, we're here on a status check because I, I'm not sure where we're going in this case. The, the recommendation after the third report from Dr. Holland was uh, clear that the uh, plaintiff should be the one with primary. So I guess I need to know whether your client is contesting that and if we're setting the matter for a trial or you still need to find that out from your client, Mr. Frizzell. Well, uh, she, she's, she's here. Okay. Uh, so you can put her down as being present and uh, uh, she, is still wanting to, uh, she is still wanting to contest that. So, okay. Is she asking for a joint or is she asking for primary herself? Uh, I believe that she's asking for she's asking for joint. Okay. Um, I think right now it's it, it, temporarily it's kind of been on a on a four three situation or thereabout, and uh, she is she would be willing she, she is willing to go to go joint joint physical. Sure. I didn't file a motion because we have a status check, and I figured you'd hear at least some things at the status check. Um, there's currently a criminal investigation going on. There was a exchange on December 27th at the entry to the family courthouse. Immediately after the exchange, mom followed dad into the street um, and blocked his car in front of the McDonald's. At that point, um, she actually put the car in park, exited the vehicle with the the children in my client's vehicle, used her electronic cigarette to pound on his vehicle, causing over $1,500 in damage. I've given Mr. Furs all the information. During that time, she was yelling, screaming, carrying on. When it was safe to him for him to move out of the lane, he was able to move out of the lane and get around her. That is currently pending with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. Um, I've already subpoenaed the police reports, hoping that I could get some information for the court. Um, but mom's behavior is escalating the longer this case goes on, and the children are present during these escalations. Okay. And so they're of significant... Oh, and I, it, obviously my client is uh, denying the, uh, certainly the first part of that, uh, where in actuality it was, uh, it was dad who followed her out videotaping, videoing her with his phone, and... Uh, um, Stopped, so uh, she stopped. We stopped following her. Uh, the the court uh, the court cameras they, they were in in view of the it, what probably would be recorded on the court cameras out there in the in the front, and so it, you know it. Uh, this 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 isn't uh, this, according to my client. This isn't the way that. Uh, uh, Ms. Roberts was informed that it happened. So, uh, you know, without uh, because there because I guess there's been a, a report. I don't know if there's actually investigation or if they just filed it in the in the back of the file. But uh, um, I don't know. I'm guessing McDonald's might have video. Well, McDonald's may have some video too. So okay. Um, Listen, at this point, if you guys end up resolving it. Um, that's fine. I'm just going to set it for an all-day hearing, May 1st, starting at 9 a.m. I look at my calendar, Your Honor. Sure. Uh, because Dr. Holland uh, was a court-appointed outsource um, <clears throat> provider, her reports will come in as court's exhibits at the time of trial. You guys don't need to resubmit those, and you guys do not need to subpoena her here just for the admission of those reports. You can subpoena her here on your own dime for purposes of cross-examination, but uh, her reports will come in under the local rule. All right. I'm likewise looking at my calendar, too, here, Your Honor. So you said May 1st. That's a Wednesday? Yep. 
All right. Okay, technically, uh, and, and understanding, Your Honor, this is a, that uh, what I'm about to tell you is a 10-year-old case. Uh, it is a multi-defendant, uh, one of those, mo one of the motorcycle uh, club cases, and it is scheduled to start on tax day uh, in April and go through uh, the month of May. Well, if that's the case, call Miss Roberts by the end of the day, April 29th, and let her know that, and, and my court clerk will uh, get you a new date at that point. All right. If I uh, if I if if I know sooner, for instance, if for some reason the trial gets moved for a for a sixth time, um, you know, then obviously I'll let everyone know that May first is still a go. But well, no, we're setting it for May first. It's a set. I don't stack my stuff, so that's set. The only reason you need to contact us would be late April 29th, which is a Monday, saying this thing is still going. I'm not going to be able to to do it on Wednesday. And then we'd get you the next soonest date after that. Okay, that's fair. Okay, I, I understand. I understand. Okay. And in the meantime, uh, since Miss Roberts is uh, relatively new to uh, this case, um, well, she may not even be on it on the return because if Miss Perry's back is healthy, she may be back on the case. So I, I'm not certain if she'll be on it or not. I didn't know what the I didn't know what the uh, particulars were. I thought that uh, you know maybe. Uh, uh, maybe Miss Roberts might be staying in this thing. So, um, all right. Well, then, uh, uh, Amanda, then if, if you can let me know if you're not going to be in it or when you disassociate, if that's a term, so I know whether I need to deal with you or Mary, that'd be very much appreciated. Until I until I file a withdrawal, you can welcome. You're welcome to call my office. Oh. And Mr. Frizzell, we are uh, we're giving uh, Ms. Roberts her copy of it. We will stick your copy of the trial setting order uh, in your folder. The court follows uh, 16.205 sua sponte to the T, unless you guys stipulate otherwise. So just make sure you have your witnesses and documents filed in a timely manner. Um, and then we'll deal with all that, I guess, at the first part of the hearing if there's any issues with that. Your Honor, I know from, may I stay seated? I sure. know from last week that you have worked out the CPS records and you said that it's neither here nor there for either party. It really isn't. Um, the other records from the North Las Vegas Police Department that they will not release because they are protected um, involve the juvenile case that was open. Um, that, would have to, that would have to be the associated case with this. According to the documentation, and I've spoken with um, the court's attorney, Randall Foreman, regarding that, we would need a court order to be able to get those records. Well, if you want to submit it, you can. I'll sign it. I have okay. no problem with that. That's fine, and then just serve it on me, and that's fine. And just so I can make a note, uh, were the CPS records unsubstantiated? I just don't want to come down and try to just. I, yeah. They were unsubstantiated. Yeah, that's why I said there was not much. There was okay. nothing of assistance to either party in there. All right. Well, so uh, I'm I, I'm I'm fine, I guess, with the uh, first. And you're calling it an all day starting at nine, Your Honor. Yes, sir. All righty. And uh, other than that, I'll uh, we'll, uh, Amanda and I we'll try and work this thing out and. Mm -hmm. uh, or, uh, I think otherwise I'm done. Okay. All right. You guys have a great day then. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. All right. Thank you so much, Your Honor. Yep. You too. Bye-bye. No problem. Oh, that's crap.